Hello everyone, my name is Professor Rodney Stewart. I am the Program Director of the Master of Professional Engineering Leadership uh, offered by Griffith University. Uh, just to give you an overview of this program, this has been developed in partnership with Engineers Australia. Uh, it's had its first uh, group of graduates uh, in April this year and it's quite a unique program that is offered for engineers that are seeking to develop their skills in, in the area of leadership and go into executive roles within the industry. Uh, the program is for chartered professional engineers, so it's quite unique and, and quite niche um, and specialised. And it's really there to open doors uh, to executive and senior management uh, engineering roles. So just to give you a little bit of an overview of the degree, as I said before, it's tailored to the demands of engineering leadership roles. Uh, it's been tailored and designed in an online mode, uh, so it suits very busy uh, professional uh, senior engineers. Uh, and, and most importantly, it's been designed to appreciate uh, and acknowledge that uh, CPD that you've done to receive that chartered professional engineering status with Engineers Australia and, and in that you get provided with 40 credit points or four courses of advanced standing into that program. So that means that you are left with only four courses to complete to obtain this master's qualification. And those courses have been specifically designed uh, and this program has been specifically designed to give you a mix between engineering uh, types of courses as well as business types of courses. And the assessment, more importantly, has been designed to, to fit around your work practices because we understand that you are professional engineers, that you have a senior engineering or management role uh, within a, a company already and that you want to have assessment that will complement your work activity. So, most of the assessment items have been designed so they can fit around what you're doing at your work. So they can be there to help you, um, you know, expand your uh, knowledge and uh, thread through some of the latest uh, thinking about engineering uh, leadership and management into some particular projects or programs of work that you're currently doing. The program is offered entirely online so you can fit study around your work and your personal life. So in terms of the entry requirements for this program and the advanced standing that you're provided, uh, so what the requirements are is that you have a four year Bachelor of Engineering degree and you also have chartered status by Engineers Australia. Uh, so upon acceptance, students will be granted 40 credit points of advanced standing on the basis of their current status through Engineers Australia. There are some cases where Engineers of Australia have uh, uh, approved your degree that was uh, undertaken overseas in another country and they've provided you with chartered uh, professional engineering status. We will review those situations and often approve um, them in those cases because at the end of the day you've, you've, you've achieved the CPN status. So in terms of the de degree structure, what does it involve? What types of courses are involved in the program? As we said before, there's only four courses uh, required to complete this master's degree because of that 40 credit points of advanced standing. So that involves two core courses uh, that have been specifically designed uh, recently uh, within the engineering school and they're taught uh, by senior professors within the engineering school and that's in the area of organisational and project leadership in engineering and advanced ethics in engineering. We also have a suite of uh, courses that come from the Griffith Business School. Uh, there's a number of listed electives that we offer uh, from that school, but some of the examples of, of put up here today is things like sustainability and systems thinking, managerial problem solving, accounting and reporting. So those courses are there to really balance out those, those core uh, engineering course uh, that we offer in the degree structure. So how do we offer this uh, particular program? Well, it's offered in an accelerated online uh, teaching period mode, we call it. So it's different from your traditional 
semesters or trimesters uh, that you, you may have done for your engineering degree a while ago. Um, it's 100% online firstly. It's designed to be studied in part-time mode. It's designed to be uh, completed by, by people who are working fundamentally. So what you do is you work through the degree uh, one fast track course or subject at a time. So the teaching periods often are like a carousel. So a teaching period is typically six weeks. You do one course only in that six weeks. There's typically a two week uh, break and then another course uh, commences the next sort of six weeks. Now, you can enrol in a particular course, you can complete that course and because of your busy workload or you have a, a large holiday planned, you may take a teaching period off and then you might commence the next teaching period. So it's designed to allow you to accelerate things and complete the program very quickly. It can be as little as nine, 10 months or you can, you can span it out to fit around your work and your private life. So in terms of Griffith University, uh, we, we are a large comprehensive university based in southeast Queensland. Uh, we have uh, a, a big campus, on-campus footprint, but we also have a fast-growing online uh, campus, which we call our digital campus. And that has over 12,000 uh, current students and, and growing the most rapidly, as we'd expect these days. But we also are a comprehensive university with around 50,000 students uh, across many campuses in southeast Queensland. Uh, so we've got a long uh, history of doing online programs through the university, Opens University uh, Australia, and uh, uh, various other different types of uh, arrangements. So we also have a really good team that is there to support you. And I think that's uh, what I like about this program is we have a dedicated team of support officers through the D digital campus that are there to to contact you if you haven't been in the program for a while, they will touch base with you, work out a, a program to, to help you get back into your studies and, and be successful at uh, completing your degree. So, you know, it really is designed to fit around your, your life. In terms of financing the degree, uh, we have obviously upfront payments. You can pay per course as you do the course. Um, or you can pay for the whole degree up front, or you can use the HEX uh, help or fee help uh, um, uh, by the government. That allows you to defer the payments and pay them through your typical, um, you know, instalments and things over a number of years. So all of those things, you can have a look at that by going to the program uh, website, just by, by punching into the Google, you know, Master of Professional Engineering Leadership, and Griffith University, you'll come to the landing page, you can look at the courses, you can look at the current fees, you can look at the, you know, financing your degree options and things like that. So in terms of applying, uh, here's the link here for applying, but as I said before, you can go to the landing page for the degree and you can follow the, the prompts there as well. Uh, so if you have any questions about the program, um, you know, feel free to, to reach out to myself, uh, Professor Rodney Stewart. My phone number is there, my email is there. As I said before, the landing page is a great place to go for this particular degree, which is, is coded 5737. But as I said before, you know, punch into Google the, the program name and you'll come to the landing site. And that gives you really all the information that you need to know. But I always have some of the senior engineers uh, that they have a chat with me over the phone or, or talk to me um, through email or chat and you know, have some very specific questions about their unique um, set of circumstances, particularly around their work and their professional life. So I'm there to answer any questions that uh, you may have. So thank you very much. Uh, for, for listening to the presentation. I hope to see you uh, join this uh, great program in the future.